Originally, the Never Ever was supposed to be the upstairs hallway. We'd all sit down and you would kind of throw any idea out. Nothing was off limits. The Never Ever kept emerging. And then there was the realization of like, how are we going to be able to do all of this? The Never Ever set it was a really fun set to conceive with Jeff. We really had to kind of think outside the box. You're maybe going to be heading that way, but then you hear the scratching set. At one point we talked about, is the Never Ever just a CG set? I said, no, 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 we want to build a real set. Great, Great idea. idea. This is a fantastic place and it has to have a weight. It has to have a reality to it. And then we'll just augment it with VFX. We'll do little things that make it seem a little bit more fantastical, but we want to ground it in a reality. It was important to make it physical so that the cast can run through it. They can get pulled through doors. Get out! We built our second floor 10 feet above ground so we can suck people through the floor. We wanted gravity to have a different place here because when they're in the crawl space and in our normal world, their gravity is 90 degrees different. I've never seen a set that's 10 feet off the ground in a sound stage. And when you're in the Never Ever, the ceiling is clouds. <laughs> and you have the twisting of the hallway. It's odd, it's very strange, it's, it's, it's dizzying. The things that ground you in the world and make you feel safe are off in this space. And that's where the twisty hallway comes into play, even just knowing that there's a hundred doors down one hallway. This way. And you don't know what's behind every one of them. And if the hallways are constantly changing, you never know where you're at. It works very well into my perception of a nightmare. I've been here too long.